If you were to ask me, um, you know, what is something that we as a company have always uh, accomplished? It's not about production. It's not about revenue. It's not about, about profitability. I think it's about the the strength of the brand that we've been able to uh, preserve over the years. Look, family ka jo background or journey hai, it starts from undivided India in a small place called Amreli. We had small shop of hardware and tools. Now at the time of partition 1947, I was just one year old when my father brought me and my family over to Karachi. My father established a small shop uh, opposite Sin Madrasukt al-Islam and started trading there. After that, the fa family thought, okay, why not go into industry? We were not given permission to start industry in Karachi, nor in Hyderabad, and then we were asked to go to East Pakistan. Where my father went to East Pakistan, settled down there, and with his four brothers, five brothers, from 1948, to 1968, in 20 years, they established 17 different industries. But after 1971, we came back to Karachi, where we started, restarted all over again. After my studies in USA, I came back. And then at that time, the nationalization had taken place and nobody wanted to invest. But we invested in shape breaking and we invested in a small rolling mill in site, which was a hand rolling mill. Our site rolling mill was uh, uh, imported from England in 1984. At that time, the whole European steel industry was being restructured by the European steel community. It took us three years to put it up over here, and in 1987 we started uh, commercial operations. My young son, Shayan, was also with me for three months. And he used to be the, also the crane driver, the youngest crane driver in history, you know, of Amreli Steels. But anyway, we achieved that, put up the plant here, and the course of history of Amreli Steels changed forever. Um, since I was a child, uh, I, I, I believe I was five years old. Um, every Saturday I was woken up and I was taken by my dad uh, to the factory. And I remember that every Saturday I used to uh, go uh, into the factory and I used to be on the crane for at least about half an hour. And it gave me a great overview of the complete um, you know, production facility. Uh, as a kid, I would uh, have a lot of fun at Amrili because I would do a lot of things that I would never let my kids do today, such as hanging on a crane as if it was like a jula. Obviously, as I started growing up, you know, um, there would be a lot of discussion about the business and the business dynamics at home. I would visit the office uh, during my school holidays. We were exposed um, and we were encouraged uh, to attend uh, the family meetings. Um, so, so practically, you know, at least about seven to eight times a year, we were uh, involved with the business, although we didn't know what was going on at such a young age. Um, I got back from the US, graduated, in, um, uh, graduated from Northwestern University um, in electrical engineering and uh, started uh, working as a trainee engineer in 2001. Um, that was the time that we were revamping a part of our site rolling mill. Um, and given that I was a trainee engineer, I was exposed um, to the first revamping along with you know, our seniors and our engineers, etc. My first 10 years was pretty much, um, you know, uh, in, was, was my involvement in the technical uh, aspects of the business. At that time, we were exclusively dependent on Pakistan steel for the supply of billets. This supply of billets was abruptly closed or shut down. So we decided that we have to integrate backward. And so therefore, we set up furnaces in Dhabiji, 
So I joined Amreli Steels uh, right after I finished my studies. This is about 15 years ago now. I, I entered as a trainee, um, really you know looking to learn the business. Um, did that for about two to three years. After doing that, uh, I became a project manager where I was helping to establish our um, steel melt shop in Habiji. Uh, after that was about a four year four year project. It was also our first time uh, sort of expanding out into a rural area in, in rural Sindh, which has its own complexities. So with all of these factors combined, uh, it, it was a very challenging project to complete. Let me tell you, we were the first people to get into modern technology of steel making. And we took the plunge first. And I think that has been a boon for the company. I think in my life, the most challenging period and time that we faced was in 2008, 2009, when the world's financial markets were shuttered. The prices of all commodities came down like a rock. It was one of our largest uh, losses recorded uh, in Amreli's history. We uh, had a very small revenue base as compared to where we were today. Um, we, to be honest, we did not even know that we would survive. It was our determination, it was our persistence that we picked up the pieces and you know we just kept uh, looking forward and we kept marching on. So I think that was the most um, challenging times in my in the last 20 years that I've been in business. When I joined Amreli, it was still a smaller company than it is today. Um, it was also a lot more family run. And I think something that we, uh, that we had a vision to do back then was to sort of not make it as dependent on the family, um, you know, have uh, really professionalized the company, work as professionals in the, in the company as well. The most important hallmark of our sponsors is the willingness to change. I see it like this, when I joined Amreli Steel, uh, there was the whole canvas was in front of me. There was hardly any uh, finance department as such. IT was non-existent and uh, there was no HR department. There was no marketing department at all. Sales काम करती थी, but on two pillars. So इसको इस चीज को देखते हुए मैंने इनको उस वक्त कहा था अपने पहले इंटरव्यू में कि मैं आपकी कंपनी की इंशाल्लाह रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग करवाऊंगा और साथ में आपको लिस्टिंग भी लेके जाऊंगा. So um, the most accomplished moment for me was at the time when we listed and we got a 41 rupee premium over our uh, share value and I think that was a time when I felt or the family felt very accomplished that 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 is the trust that the public put in the brand in in the name of Amrady and in the brand and the family itself. So what happened that a company a pure typical private limited company se utke, aaj hum ek, uh, I would say one of the best listed companies in Pakistan is Shumar After that, you know, we undertook a recent expansion where we put up our new rolling mill, which is a 400,000 ton facility. We added two new furnaces at the back. So now presently we have four uh, induction furnaces. Uh, we have a rolling mill, uh, a state-of-the-art uh, Italian rolling mill. Uh, at Dhabiji and we have the site rolling mills. So today our production facility, we are able to produce about 475,000 tons of pellets and approximately 600,000 tons of rebar. So that is our practical capacity. We have also added our presence all over the country uh, in different cities, different provinces. Um, so we have a much larger footprint. Uh, we've even grown in terms of uh, our company's size. This transformation is a phenomenal transformation. In 13 years' time, such a short span of time, and in each vertical, there is a phenomenal transformation. Today's finance department, Amreli Steel finance department, is the same as any better company's finance department. Marketing, as I said, was non-existent. Today, we know that we are the FE award winners. Each and every vertical has understood the importance of IT and its utilization and the benefit that it brings to us. It saves such a huge amount of time. Aaj ka HR, Pakistan ki steel sector ki pehli company in Amreli Steel is the success factor ko lagaya. Aur ab hum success factor pe chale gaye hain. Aur paperless environment pe hum bohat tezi se ja rahe hain. 
सप्लाई चेन जो आज हमारे जिस फॉर्म में मौजूद है जिसका एक वर्टिकल अपनी जगह है एंड कंपनी की कंपनी की एंटायर सप्लाई चेन को माशा बहुत बेहतरीन तरीके से मैनेज करते हैं एंड प्लांट की जो प्रैक्टिस हैं वो आज माशा बिल्कुल नेक्स्ट लेवल पे हैं और हमारा प्लांट भी आपको पता है कि प्राइम मेटल का प्लांट है रेड रिंग टेक्नोलॉजी फिफ्थ जनरेशन वन ऑफ द बेस्ट इन पाकिस्तान आवर की पीपल इन दी नॉट ओनली की पीपल इवन द मैनेजर लेवल इवन एट द लोएस्ट लेवल वी ऑल आर वेडेड टू द एम्स एंड विशन मिशन एंड वैल्यू स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ आवर कंपनी विच वर डेवलप्ड बाई the umbrellians themselves these were not thrust upon them and that is how we want to run the company um you know i am happy uh, to say that we are a local multinational company professionally managed obviously that was not the case many years back it would uh, not be possible for us to have achieved any of these milestones uh, without our fellow umbrellians our colleagues uh, i would just like to say a very big thank you um their commitment um you know to on really steels their sacrifices for on really steels and once again without without or without you all we just would not have been able to do it so big thank you it's been a very rewarding journey to get to where we are today uh, we're very proud of it um we're very proud of everybody who who's in our team who works with us um and uh, we hope that we hope that going forward Uh, we can continue putting in the hard work and the innovation to keep up with uh, a changing world i am making this appeal to every umbrellian to put in their hard work as they are doing now look for a bright future and let me tell you the future is bright not only for them but also for their families in the end i would like to wish all umbrellians happy 50th anniversary wishing all the umbrellians all our stakeholders a uh, happy 50 year anniversary and uh, a big celebratory 50 years uh, hooray to everyone